when Mark Stretch isn't out on the road doing what Mark Stretch does, uh, he's often at home doing things that are therapeutic for his spirit because, you know, the road is harsh. The shine of the spotlight is extra bright. The bovine pigment actually allows it to grow fur on the top of the tattoo. So, you know, that combined with the whalebone, which gives it a bit of a, a bit of an aroma. Basically what I end up with is a scratch and sniff tattoo. Would Mark Stretch do it all again? Most definitely. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's for the children. You know, and when, when I bit the, uh, that kangaroo on the tail, you know, it, it's, it's for the kids. You know, the, the benefit shows that I had to wrestle a live kangaroo. And I'm from the old school, I'm fucking around. I don't think that a person, you know, of, of my talent caliber should be forced to work, you know, any laborious job regardless of, you know, the CEO title. I'm gonna reline this right here with this. Just a little bit. Just, not all this. No, no, no. I did this down here. I'm gonna do this, this, and this right here. What are you gonna do, man? Sure, bro. Sometimes I just like to get away and, and I feel like just, you know, just a mildly attractive person, you know? Now, when it's all said and done, I want people to remember that, you know, we did it because we love it, um, because we were chosen for it, um, because working a day job was absolutely out of the question. To, to quote, you know, a wise man with a great power comes uh, great accessibility. And, you know, being part of the form is you have access to, you know, women, drugs, um, furry costumes, uh, cookie utensils. The rails wrapped around on the roll. Who, who gets that? I knew that I had to follow my heart in the music, and you know, I figured the PlayStation would be all right without me. It's okay, you know. I, you know, I, I built the first one. And yeah, it's, it's being famous and being handsome and being uh, brilliant and being, you know. Just being the person that I am, it, it's not as easy as it looks, you know, it's being craved by men and women alike on a daily basis, it, it, it wears on you. Um, another record, uh, a few more underground fight videos, I think we have one with, uh, Kirby Dominant um, and Mondo tag teaming a wild boar and a, uh, a three-legged cat. Um, that, you know, because you know, I, I don't know if anybody's ever told you, but um, Mondo of the Buckle Brothers and also of Leech Day Crew and also part of Marvel Team Up is known as the Kimbo Slice of the animal wrestling world. Undefeated. Brother gotta eat. I think that uh, being famous is only as difficult as you make it. You know, has it caused me problems? Yes. It has caused me problems. Um, they usually have to clear out one wing of hometown buffet when I show up. Uh, which is okay. You know, I don't think they mind. Which, I think that when it's all said and done, people will say that, uh, Foreign Legion? Yeah. I fucked those guys.
they chains and cars, sold they diamonds, gave up they turntables, sold them on eBay, retired them, passed the baton like a relay, burn out and broken like a politician's promise. I'm not quite conscious when I rhyme, but I'm honest. The less things change, the more they gon' stay the same. I write songs from the heart to erase the pain. Maybe I should go to Vegas, put my money on the haters. Maybe I'm just disillusioned, thinking I can make it. I'm up for the challenge. A lot of these cats' egos supersede their talent. Their reality is imbalanced. We begun hot, and then the buzz stopped. Your favorite rapper got up on Legion lunchbox. Now we're back to piss you off, why the fuck not? You know we dumb hot every time the drums drop. Can I ask you how you started rapping? Yeah, um, it was in junior high. I had a best friend and he was battling. He lost his grandma's chain. And I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. So I stepped to the dude and I crushed the guy and, so you know, made history of my junior high. <laughs> When you look at the history of hip-hop and you know the history of hip-hop pretty well, where do you see yourselves fitting in? I find myself wondering, will the world wonder when we never learn to win? And we wonder why we fight so we stay rhyming, stay writing, stay pushing through the dark just to get into that light right about now. Things are tougher than they ever been. The world is getting sick through a taste of its own medicine. Stay spilling flows like a Gulf Coast levee when I brainstorm. Lights out like Con Edison. Refuse to let it die out. Get a grip on. Fly it, then I grip on. Two ancient Egyptians. Fit you to a two like lift on. When we flip on. Get you super thugs with reality based gripped on. Your whole criminal facade is see through. Please leave rap alone. We don't need you. Jump out like Mike mixed with Knievel. Feel the wrath of these every a lot of people who become suddenly famous and wealthy oh, when they're young can't deal with it we were famous for like a year yeah. and then both moved back in with our parents so